Let's do it. <coughs> Let's not keep people waiting. We got a Slagmite. That was spoiled. Some of these, like, I, I have been, like, kind of watching other streams just to see what else is out there, but... That's crazy. Ruins, guys. That seems actually, like, kind of good. I kind of want to savor this. At least the Dark Frontier packs I want to savor. The rest we can just run through. Because we already know what's in the other packs. High alert for four. That seems a bit too slow. And we'll get... Fa It'll be faster as we go. Because we'll see the same uh, cards over and over. Outdraw. A lot of these cards are like interesting in this pack, but they're too, uh, they seem a bit too expensive. We've seen Cabal Repeater. Death Pit, let's go. Easy. Nice, nice, nice. Char. So I heard we got uh, one power shock. We got one mana shock in Eternal finally. And this is it. Because signal flare didn't count. Because that, was, that wasn't fast speed. But this is. Is it slow? Okay, I figured all the signs were going to get Sanctums. We saw Talirs, we saw Islands. I saw Caleb's Sanctum. Caleb has a Sanctum, too. When you have exactly one unit, has plus three strength and deadly and lifesteal. Interesting. I think this Ruins guide is, like, actually surprisingly kind of good. All right. We got an armament to Lear Sanctum. I think this is the best of the bunch out of all of them. Quick Silver Ooze. Oh, it makes copies of itself until it dies. It's interesting. Amethyst Coin. You gain Shadow, you can deal one damage to the enemy tip player, you gain one health. So it's the same as the ring, the Amethyst Ring from the older sets. Hello? Draft. <laughs> Kills RNG them. Who's deck incoming? Yeah, Ruins Guide seems kind of insane. And like, in a novel's deck, just the right deck in general. This I've seen. This is kind of... I think this is actually pretty good. Fallen Militiaman? When another unit dies, it gets plus one, plus one, shift three. Okay. Coastal Curator. Seems really bad. Vicious Rumors, I'm not excited about. I don't think Vicious Rumors is good. Clan Barracks is good, though. Seems good, anyway. But Vicious Rumors is like, wait a minute. We have Spite Feeder, and that gives us a 1-1, one -one, and it does the same thing. And that doesn't get played. Except in like jank. Janky Bruce. So. I don't see how Fish's Rumor, Vicious Rumors gets played in like a deck you want to mill. A Rallying Infestation? Play 1 1 Scorpion with Deadly. Or play 2 Shifted 1 1 Scorpions with Deadly. Okay. I actually kind of like that. Touch of Grace? This seems bad. <laughs> I think the warp doesn't make up for it. <coughs> you have quick draw this turn. Boot knife? We have vicious rumors on a power card? We do. Well, if we're targeting ourselves. Yes. A 
Another Sanctum. Twin Psy. Hey. I'm, I'm just happy we have a Psy as a weapon in this game. I'm not. It's, it's not. It does. It looks really bad. Maybe it's probably better than Mithril Mace because it has warp. But, you know. Got Spiteful Strike. Death from above, people were saying that was might be pretty good in draft. I think Primal got the lion's share this set, it seems like, when it comes to draft. Just limited in general draft seals. There's a lot of good flyers in limited. Got Livia, nice. I think Patience is actually good, but... Or can be. It has potential. Phase out seems insane. Furnish doesn't seem worth it. Maybe it gets played in draft, but definitely not constructed. Mortal cards, sigh. <laughs> <coughs> Another terror on the mountain? I don't know if Muck Crawler is good. It probably isn't, but it Muck Crawler seems interesting. Blurry Chaser. <laughs> What's this? Two power, one, three, quick draw. Play, pay one and twist Blurry Chaser to scout. There's like a scout theme in this in this set, too. It's like a lot of cards that, uh... If you scouted, X happens. Some people are hyping up Search Party, but I don't know. I'm, not, I'm a little skeptical on Search Party. It probably can be good. This was the the Xenon Obelisk of a draft. Horn of Plenty. Bam! Bam! What is Murderous Flock? Four power three three when you scout, Murderous Flock gets flying this turn. That's that's what I was talking about. When you scout, this happens. We got a bunch of those cards this set. Silver Short Sword. This was a, a that resolve spoiler. Clam Barracks again. Ooh, I should have looked at Arcanum Elite. Just to see what it does. Retribution is back. This was in closed beta. We had a card called Retribution. It did not do this, obviously, because Onslaught didn't exist, but... We had a card named Retribution. That had the same art that Purify has now. Okay, Spyglass. Remembrance seems insane. I like fragility. I, I like. I don't know why. I feel like fragility can be pretty good. It's like takedown, but good. <laughs> Thry Dire Beast. Uh, Quake Titan. No legendaries yet. We're supposed to be guaranteed some, though, so. We're supposed to get at least six. Shiny Ooze, though. <coughs> I th this is a um, this is a cycle. Every faction got a three drop that that shifts. Get one of your other units life steal until the Thrive Dire Beast emerges. Combustion Brawler. Five power six pump four overwhelm. The enemy player can't gain health. Shift four exhaust an enemy unit. <laughs> Good idea at the time. <laughs> I saw this actually. Warp, transform a card in your hand into a random card for one. <laughs> yeah, good idea at the time. That has to be the best name in the whole set. And Meditant seems like it's alright, since it has Aegis. And Spell Strike Sorceress is kind of another Alessi. Another Bam. I'm getting a lot of multiples. Not that I'm mad. I actually think Bam is is very good in Yetis. Don't like Sudden Stampede. Didn't like Razor Quill. Angry Prophets. Meh. I need to read Sizzleback Salamander again. I think this is part of the... No, this isn't. I forgot which one's the cycle. The one that twists or the one that has shift? 
or maybe it's both maybe all the factions got there's two three cost cycles do i will after eternal dies because they released the 15 set in a row with justice bias oh my god <clears throat> I don't think Justice got the best cards. I think they got a few really good cards, and that's it. Another infestation. I, I gotta read this, because I saw Camo's bl blueprints. Three power, this is one of the good Justice cards. Draw a weapon of your choice from your deck, it gets plus one, plus one. If if you activate Onslaught. So this, this I think, is one of the good Justice cards. But I, I feel like Primal benefited, might have benefited the most this set. I could be wrong. If we're talking constructed and limited. Okay, finally, a legendary. Cobalt coin. This one plays an inferiority complex on an enemy unit. This seems like the best one out of all the coins. Although I haven't seen the justice coin yet. <clears throat> you guys ready? It's gonna be Jack. <laughs> Is there a Jack in this set? There's no Jack in this set. Zolto Loyalist, very good card. Venomous Mount. Shift 3, give one of your other units deadly until Venomous Mount emerges. <clears throat> okay. Caleb Sanctum. I think most of these I've seen. Um, Cutthroat's awful. The, the art is amazing, but but the card is itself is awful. And yeah, nothing crazy in that pack. Gust Rider's good, of course. But... Shiny coin. First smuggler, Rhyme Conclave. <coughs> Okay, let me read this. One power, one one, flying, onslaught. You and one of your other units each get plus two health. It is a permanent buff, but not playing that in ranked. But it seems fine for limited if if you want, a, you just want a flyer. But def, I don't even, I don't, it's probably not even a high pick and limited. I think Street Urchin is actually pretty good. I don't think it's a bad card. The Frost Elemental is pretty insane in uh in draft. Ruins got it again. We keep opening these. Busted draft card. All these sanctums. Jeez. Submerged Titan? When you play another unit, Submerged Titan gets plus one plus one. Or you can shift it for four to protect it. Okay. Token deck, potentially? Praxis tokens? The Explorer card we saw earlier? Warning Jolt. Deal one damage to an attacking enemy. We got an Insignia. That's nice. This is a 5-5 five five while you have armor. Hmm. Enhanced Excavator. When one of your units attacks, replenish one power. You can shift this for five, though. That's interesting. This seems all right. This actually seems okay. 
we were talking about expedition leader uh, in another stream earlier today, actually. If it survives, then it's that's very, very good. I want Needle Spitter to be good so bad. <laughs> I just love the art on this. Another Sanctum. We're just opening all the Sanctums. Burden Bearer Wisp. Two power, one, three flying. Onslaught, you may put one of your other units into your hand. It's good you don't have to, but if you want to abuse the summon effect again. This seems all right. This competes with, uh, it, I don't know if Illumination Wisp is still in the format, because they changed the packs again for draft. It might be out of the format now, but. <clears throat> no, it's the Fire Pokemon sp starter? It is, Cyndaquil. <laughs> it's literally Cyndaquil. That's great. Dinomancy Enthusiast, pay three and twist it to transform another unit into a 4-2 dinosaur with into a voracious Fasora, basically. Nah. Hey, it's Cyndaquil. <coughs> well, once we open six legendaries, then I can't complain. If I don't get any more. From Dark Frontier, anyway. Hey, let's go. Let's go. I want to use this guy, but I, I don't know. Um, maybe like explore mid range is a thing now. Keen Saddleback is also insane for. A, I love the art on this. It's a very uh, majestic. <laughs> Aztec boy. Yup. You have one of your other units flying until Keen Saddleback emerges. Yep. They did put some extra flair in these Dark Frontier packs. I I've noticed. Like the animation. Which I appreciate, but... <clears throat> I could see why it's slower for... Nice. I'm definitely gonna have to craft the smugglers. I'm not gonna craft all of them today, but mm, Bandit's Flail, Ferocity of Bear. Oh, this is the art from uh, what do you call it? One of the events, uh, ECQ Dark Frontier. I hope we get this as a wallpaper. That'd be so good. Or even this guy. I like. I love the Arnold Pyro Mage. Is it good for rank? Eh, I don't think so. I think Reweave is actually okay. <clears throat> Ruins Guide again. It's gonna be the, the most opened uncommon for me. Because I'm pretty sure that's at least the fourth one. Diesel's Racket, nice. I think Diesel's Racket's... Diesel's Racket's very interesting. It's one of those cards that I want it to be good. It might not be. It probably won't be, but I want it to be. <sighs> I wish this was cheaper. Okay, let's go. Another Sandway Smuggler. Another Cyndaquil. Seems good. <clears throat> this is not worth it. In any format. Tremor Shockers. Uh, this is nice for draft. I think this is a solid draft card. Cause you, you shift it on four and then it just stays protected till turn six and comes out as unblockable. What's Outlaw Ringleader? Four power, three, three. Pay four, twist Outlaw Ringleader to give one of your units plus four strength this turn. Onslaught, play a two, one Drifter. There's a lot going on here. Kind of reminds me of a Stone Scar Sneak, but without the quick draw, obviously. But it can also make uh, gunslinger tokens. Well, a gunslinger token. It's interesting. It kind of powers itself. Give a unit skill until this emerges. Yeah, it seems like that that was a cycle too, Alesha. Yeah, 
You want the Olivia related cards? I wouldn't mind that, actually, uh, Marxist. I wouldn't mind that. Well, if I'm gonna open Sanctums, I hope it's these. I'm happy we're gonna see Cyndaquil a lot. I think Cyndaquil is cool. War Wagon. Yeah, this is another one of the shift ones. Yeah, this is part of the cycle. Plus three, plus three until War Wagon emerges. Play a plus one weapon on two of your units. Call to arms, warp. Reminds me of Rally. A little bit. I think we're getting closer to making a worm deck for sure. Alright, we're opening insignias now. That's good. Granite coin and cobalt coin seem like the best, uh... There it is! Emerald coin. Play a plus one plus one weapon on one of your units. That's pretty good. That's not bad. So, the fire, justice, and primal coins seem the best. Actually, time is good too. The worst one's the shadow one. Malediction. Alright. We take those. We are closer to making a worm deck. And I like worms. Nice. Rhyme Conclave Smuggler. Oh, we'll take that. Uh, we've seen all these. I feel like Phase Out should see rank play. And it's a crime if it doesn't. It just seems very, very powerful. Svet, you got a Sanctum too? Okay. I mean, she's a Scion, but... When you play a spell, play an Emerald Incarnation with strength and health equal to its cost. It doesn't show what the ink... We'll have to look at that when we get done. Someone remind me to look at Svetya's Sanctum. I know we got a while, but... <coughs> anyway. <clears throat> you can't. It doesn't let you right-click it when while you're in the packs, which sucks. I wish it did. I, I forgot it, it doesn't let you, because I, I remember trying that before. And it wouldn't let me do it. Third Senway Smuggler. I'm I'm really happy like I potentially might not even have to craft any of these. Cause this is one of the first smugglers I, I was gonna craft. We got reread, patience. They put the dash on reread. Cause when they spoil it, that little dash wasn't there. Just little things I noticed. No big deal. Auric Reclaimer, 2 power, 2, 3 Minotaur, shift 6, play a Relic Weapon with strength and armor equal to the highest strength and highest armor among Relic Weapons in your Void. Huh. That's interesting. Another Diesel's Racket. Oh, I'm... <laughs> look at... Look at... Swift Refusal. So now we have Savage Denial and we have Swift Refusal. Savage Denial negates an enemy spell that is fast for the same cost as this. And it's a fast spell. Now we have Swift Refusal negate an enemy spell that isn't fast. <laughs> we need to build a deck that uses both of these. Swift Refusal and Savage Denial. We we need like we need to like build like a tempo deck or something. Old school tempo bounce from magic. And we just use both of those for, for counter spells. What if Savage Denial is is a swift refusal? 
We got Convoy Insignia, that's nice. Um, we've seen all these. Hostile Takeover, steal an enemy unit that's four strength or less. Yeah, this won't get played in ranked, but limited, probably. Pioneering Aviator. When you play a spell, you gain one armor. Flying while you have armor. Armor matters. Type of thing going on there. All right, this is the third legendary. Yeah, we opened uh, Zolta Loyalist and Zumakan so far. Um, I do not think Reclaim is good. People keep hyping. They're hyping this up. But I'm like, nah. The problem is, like, the decks you want to put it in, it doesn't fit. And the decks you can put it in, I think we'll have better things to do. Okay, nice. It It's a meme, but I do want this. Because I want to play Pelt. Oh, what if you Savage Denial Swift Refusal? That, that, that's hilarious. <laughs> You play a spell, they swift refusal it. You savage denial the swift refusal. <laughs> uh, why does twin flame cost eight? Why? I don't get it. That like, that kind of triggers me that it costs eight. Let's hold under. We've opened this. I just haven't looked at it yet. Wow. Um, your boy Yushkov is, is pretty brutal. I guess Yushkov is still around? He got him in like a, a lock. Deal damage to an enemy unit equal to the highest strength among your units. I'm sitting here admiring the art for a little too long. And this has warp. You were jazzed about reclaim for Argentport Mill? Yeah, but why would you want to ramp on turn four? And then you have to onslaught, right? So you have to play a unit. Nice shiny steadfast paladin. Got another blurry chaser. Okay, so fend off is actually a spell in this game. Yes! You got it, Skarn. You got it's it's Shadow. It's Shadow. I wanted this too. I, I wanna craft. Now, I don't think this is good in mill. I don't think it is. But I think it's good in just a deck that would just run discard spells. Like sabotage, shakedown, treachery, Vara's choice. I think if nothing else, it'll be good in that. I don't know if it'll be... I have my doubts of this being good in mill. But maybe. I could be wrong. Zaberi's Longbow. Okay. Two power, two one weapon. When you scout, sacrifice Zaberi's Longbow to have the wielder deal three damage to an enemy unit. To an enemy. Okay. That seems pretty good. It depends on if um, there's enough good scout cards in this set. Because, I mean, the, the best scout cards we've had so far are the, the Crests. I'm probably not playing mono anything. I think I'm still going to stick with two faction decks or more. But it, this is nice for uh, single faction decks. What's mining team? 4 power, 2-2, two, two, warp, summon, scout, shift 2. Nah. Nah. Even if you can play it for two, nah. Crooked Alley Guide is actually kind of interesting because it's shift one. Displaced Oryctodon. These are actually really cheap. Shifting for one and shifting for two. And they all scout. These all must be a cycle too. Because we got Fire, Time, and Shadow, and they're all... Well, I don't know. This one's Shift 2. These are Shift 1. Camp Surveyor Shift 1 as well. 
It's interesting. Scout Crag Yetis? Maybe. Any multi power play plus death caps is rad. It is. Um, it definitely is. I mean, if you play death cap, you wanna you wanna play cards that play sigils for you, and not just draw them. Nah, I, w I want this. <coughs> Another Sanctum. Lightning Sprite seems uh, insane. So does this. Blurred S S Stigmalock? I don't know. It's a 3 power 7-6. If you're if you have seven strength in total on board or more, seems kind of insane. <clears throat> Gold mine. I kind of want this to be good, but the problem is it's not better than Cauldron Cookbook. <laughs> so. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I like the card. I really do. <clears throat> Valkyrie Accuser. That art though. Seven power three five. Flying Aegis Onslaught played Timidity on an enemy unit. The cursed unit can't attack. Probably draft if nothing else. Nice, we got ice ball. We might be overrating this actually. I don't like I don't We do have to think about the fact that the enemy um if we're killing an enemy uh unit then they get to play a sigil of their choice from their deck depleted that they can then use on their next turn. So I think the, the drawback is real on this, but 7 for 2 at fast speed? Yeah, it does. It triggers enemy and powers. So I don't know. We we might be slightly overrating this. If it turns out to be great, then, then okay, hey. Primal got a great removal spell. Because that, that's what it was hyped up to be. But... If it if it turns out to be overhyped, I actually won't be that surprised. Remembrance is going to make death caps a lot more viable against removal and control decks. Yeah, because you get the unit back, you shift it, and then they can't target the death cap. They have to use sweepers to kill death cap. Meanwhile, death cap's just milling them. So I could see that. Hey, we got a Seraph. Nice. I kind of want Vizier's tablet to be good too, but I don't know. It's probably not a big enough effect for three. Even though it mills. I also don't know about Stained Honor either. Like in a twist deck. Like some people are going to put Stained Honor in their twist decks. But I don't think it'll be that good. We've seen everything else, right? Yeah. <laughs> Half right. You got Justice. It just wasn't the five drop. Read the runes. Pearl Abbey Smuggler, nice. We've seen everything else, I believe. Devotee of the Sands. Okay, this is the Shift 2 unit. Stained Honor and Tablet are combo pieces, potentially. 
Yeah, maybe. Bam. Quake Titan. Not exciting. Found Insignia. That's good. The first even hand in Golem. Okay. Refreshing Waters. Warp. Six power fast spell. You gain two health for each of your units. Life Force only. Mask only, and they might not even play it. Bren Scrying, one power, warp, and scout. Interesting. It won't, I don't think it gets played, but it's interesting. Royal Decree, transform a non-power card in the enemy hand into a seek power. Onslaught, transform each other copy in their hand and deck. That's a cool card. It's kind of Reign of Frogs, sort of. <coughs> Tinker Innovator. Three power, two, four. When a unit emerges or a unit with charge is played, it gets minus three this turn. Okay, so some anti shift, anti charge stuff going on here. On a. Decently statted body for three. Two four on a th on three is not bad. There's better, obviously, but like three four or two five even. But two four is not terrible. Doesn't die to torch. Another innovator. Back to back. Got another Spiteful Strike. Another Talir Sanctum. Wait, how would Stained Honor and um, Vizier's Tablet combo, though? Because it doesn't... Stained Honor just reduces your twist costs. And Vizier's Tablet's not a twist ability. Unless it's with some other twist cards that I'm not thinking of. I feel like Seek Answer should, like, get played a ton. But we'll see. Like, this kind of screams staple to me. But I don't know. Oh, tablet combos with Severin, stain, stained honor combos with Razor Quill and Catra. Okay, so it's two different com two different combos. They don't combo together. There's combo with differently with different cards. Gotcha. With Severin, the actually yeah, Vizier's tablet's pretty good. Alright, Crashing Avalanche, Stronghold Vandal. Oh, this is the shift 3 killing an enemy attachment. 2 power 3 1. I think we've seen everything else. We have, yes. I feel like Trickster Mage is pretty good. It might not be, but I feel like it's. The stat line's a bit low, but. If they don't, if this st stays on the table, then I think it's the Trickster Mage is quite good. Okay, Stone Hero is all right. They got spoiled. Swirl of the Sands. Oh, I missed that. Sanctums, Sanctums, Sanctums. 
But at least we got another Swift Refusal. So that's cool. And another Cyndaquil. And an illicit armament, which we're playing today. <laughs> you just opened Swirl of the Sands? Interesting. Yes! That's the fourth one. A smuggler I don't have to craft! Thank you, Direwolf! And that's the one I wanted the most. You know, all of them are good. I want all of them, obviously. But... Another Rhyme Conclave. That might be the third one. It's definitely the second one. But it might be the third one. Novice Entomancer. Okay, this isn't another one in the shift cycle. Three power, three, three endurance. Shift five, play a two, two locos with flying. So you still get a five, five. It's just the stats are split. You're just happy they didn't print Felon Smuggler to be camp, camp block. That would have been such a troll. Okay, here we go. Swirl the sands. Put an enemy relic, curse, or unit with flying on the bottom of its owner's deck. Wow. That's kind of... That's not bad. That's not bad. Cause, Cause, basically, like bottom of the deck is like, you, people like decks can't get get it back out if it's on the bottom. There's very few tutor cards in this game. The timing, yep. Oh, look, Kurt, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And thanks for uh, submitting your deck yesterday to Deck Doctor. I appreciate that too. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Kudo, loyal advisor. If if scout ends up being a thing, like Kudo definitely gets played, for sure. Um, we've seen everything else. Destruction as dysfunction as competition now. Another Livia, nice. That's new. But nobody wants to play this even in Limited. I think in Limited, you might play this if you have to. But you don't want to. What's up, by the way, Big V? How you doing? Uh, we've been going through these kind of slow because I'm, I'm kind of savoring the Dark Frontier packs. But once these, once we open these, we're gonna fly through the rest of the packs. We've seen everything here. Yeah, we have. This is a lot of packs to open. Hey, Baron Ninja, how are you doing? It is a lot of packs to open. I, I was hoarding all the packs. Okay, now, now I don't want any more. I don't want any more Senway Smugglers, because that's the fifth one. That's actually the fifth one. I, I don't want to see any more. I want to see the other Smugglers. You know, the like the Felon one, the Blight Pass one, we haven't opened any of those. But we're opening... Uh, we're opening Cyndaquils left and right. I'm doing all right, Big V. Kind of chilling, hanging in there. Figured I'd I'd wait a bit before starting up my stream. Do a little bit of a later stream today. I want to go to at least like tonight. We'll stop sometime tonight. I can't go too late because uh, I'll I'll announce at the end of the stream what's going to be happening with me tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow, but. I'll be I'll be doing something else that's pretty exciting. Not too bad trying to figure out what decks you want to try and build for constructed. Yeah, I got a couple of ideas. Most of them initially are um, 
updates to old decks. That's probably going to be what the majority of today's stream is. But there's a couple of like, I guess, brand new ideas that I have. Eight, eight secret weapon engine Aegis. When the enemy player plays a unit, secret weapon takes an additional turn to emerge. And it has shift two. That is stupid. Okay, so this is so anti control. It's not even funny. Yeah, Steadfast Paladin is pretty, uh, seems pretty good. You have to like, br bring yourself up from your top 64 run last ECQ. Yeah, congrats on that, Baron Ninja, by the way. I'm, I'm like, wow. Yeah, that's like anti-control. Like, you better play units or this thing's going to come out early. It's going to come out like turn five and wreck you. But uh, even like... The low unit decks play some amount of units. They play like 12. Nice. This is day one craft. We're playing this today. For sure. Yeah. It was tough. It was like... It, it happens. It just happens. I had to tell myself not not making it happens too. Like you can play pretty well and then still not make it. Cause I, I thought I played pretty well. Obviously I, I made mistakes during my run for sure. I I did not play perfectly. But I can say like I, I stepped my game up a bit during my run as far as like play. I guess not not streaming it probably helped that I could just focus on the games and not be occupied. Umbran Voidbringer? 4 power 2-2 two, two, Flying Berserk? Onslaught draw a unit from your void? Huh. Okay. <laughs> Adolescent Death Draw. Uh... 2 power 3, 2 shift 4, you may put an exhausted enemy unit into its owner's hand. Okay. Huh. Do not play second to Lear's intervention. Oh my goodness. So Skarn is saying it's a time uh, legendary. Um. It's pristine light. That's really good. <laughs> Another swift refusal to play in our uh, deck that will also run Savage Denial. Yeah, Pristine Light is uh, <laughs> is solid. How? How do I open stuff back to back? Like, maybe this is better than I think it is, but I don't know. I'm skeptical on this card. What's hunting? Hunting Anura. Or Anaura. Six power, four, four flying. Has warp if you or any of your units attack this turn. Okay. It's interesting. Why couldn't they just make this Onslaught? There has to be a reason why they didn't just stick Onslaught on this thing. Oh, it's a summon ability. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
You want me to play Grenadins? <laughs> you don't think it's better than I think it is? <laughs> is the Yeti site legendary? I think it is. Yeah, it has to be legendary. Every site's been a legendary so far. Alright. A second loyalist. Okay. I do want to play this card. Just don't quite know where yet. Yeah, Snowball kills it. Sadly. Plate Maker. Nice. That, this card's really, really good. This was a Mercurios. Spoiler. Plate Maker is insanely good. Okay. More Bams. More Insignias. Withstand is in this is in this uh, set now. <laughs> hey guys, you know that spell that didn't exist yet that we just slapped on Corvyat Palace. Yeah, we just decided to put it in this set now. Stop opening legendaries that aren't what you chose. You think the Zolta is like a worse to loot? It it is a worse to loot. The site's way better. You don't actually want to, like, play the card with Stan in your deck. I mean, it's... It's not terrible, but... I think you would still rather play Palace if, if you uh, have access to Palace. We still need to see what Emerald Incarnation does. This might be the best Sanctum. Dark Weave Enchantress. This, there's a couple cards in this set that uh, play Disfigure on like a unit. There's at least two. I think Livia does as well. That's the other one I'm thinking of. Crashing Avalanche. Vara Sanctum, okay. It is a better Oath Book, yeah. Zolta was is, is a better Oath Book for sure. Another withstand, okay. <laughs> yeah, Darkweave Enchantress is like the art is very cool. I love the art on it. <clears throat> Justice this time. I don't think we we haven't opened any uh, we haven't opened any fire or primal legendaries. I think every legendary I've opened has been justice, shadow, or time. But I could be wrong. Okay, I'm not excited about that one. It's it's kind of meh. I guess. Primal, Kappa. Street Urchin again, Cyndaquil again. Again. Yeah, that art's just... Look at the shadow! I just noticed that. You guys see the shadow, her shadow? On the left? Yeah, that art is... That art is stupid. That's great. Uh, it's it's very very cool, for sure. What's up, Chris Ninja? Chris Ninja su supplying the the Doc Rivers memes.
Yes, another Cryptic Master. Thank you. I have two now. That's, I think, the third Ice Ball. You know you had to do it to him? Yep. <laughs> God, if I just busted out laughing just randomly, he's like, why do I think this is funny? Because uh, it is funny. It's great. Hey, you, you never expected a Doc Rivers meme, did you? Yeah. Just expecting drum rolls. And then someone just comes in and just like, bam, Doc Rivers meme. Kimmy's uh, interesting. Terror on the mountain. We're getting a lot of multiples. Which I, I'm okay with. Because some of the multiples I, I really, really want. What's up, EUD? Alright, Baron Ninja's picking fire. Time. This one's gotta be fire, right? Has to be fire. Alright. So I've seen this, but I haven't got a chance to like read it. I just knew there was a card called Blade Master Daimyo. So six power, five four, onslaught. Draw a weapon from your void for each attack you or your a units made this turn. So if you swing with multiple units and like you have a relic weapon yourself, you can uh, draw multiple weapons from your void. Interesting. Yeah, we're cracking open new cards. I like it because it's samurai themed. Well, the Onis are samurai themed in this game. Infestation. We've seen all these. There's some pretty good cards in that pack, though. Another infestation. Modal cards, modal cards. A. Armory. <laughs> Blade Master Daimyo and Armory. Yeah, it's back disturbed. It went away for. It was only for that one day, actually. And then it was. I restarted the PC and it was fine. It's been fine ever since. Grab Primal Pro. <laughs> That's a good one. Just do the grab or seek command. Let Nightbot decide for you what legendary it is. And there it is. We got the site. Legendary confirmed as well. Another infestation. I think that's too many infestations. Yeah, the one health's kind of a bummer. Diesel's racket, okay. Alright, now I was happy, but now I'm opening too many. There's some rares that I'm opening too many of. Nice, finally. I was looking for Kira. Well, it looks like I'll have to craft, craft her. <laughs> I didn't even give it, give it, you guys a chance to guess it. Damn, that's my bad. My bad. Devotee of the Sands looks good. You just got her in draft. Hmm. I've pulled her in my 
I pulled the Volti in my pack. Let's forget what it does. Yeah, that's, that's the second one. This is at least my third uh, Conclave Smuggler. It might be my fourth. He wanted to be viable and aggro so bad. <laughs> Plus one power and she shifts for time faction. One three. Okay. I definitely have four of those now. Slagmite. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Two power, one three. Plus one max power, but you can play her, uh, you can shift her instead to keep her alive. Well, to protect her from any removal that's not a sweeper. She actually seems uh, pretty good. It's like a way to have guaranteed ramp. Kind of not guaranteed but you know what I mean it's more difficult to remove her no I think I think initiate is still better just because initiate costs one um, actually you can't really compare the two just because they're different costs even though they do the same thing they're just a different cost because initiate turn one is still, it's still gonna be a lot better than waiting till turn two to play devotee. But I don't think you can directly compare them anyway. You might play them together. Initiate's only for teacher or stinger. Yeah, it's. No, I think you can. I think initiate's uh. That's where she's seen the most success. But, I mean, there have definitely been decks in the past that, like, play four and five drops, and then, you know, you just ramp to, like, World Bear Behemoth or something, or some other five drop on turn three. Assuming you're playing ramp on your next turn, too. The enemy player can't play spells for the next three turns. Onslaught. For each attack you or your units made this turn, give that much strength and health to that many units. On your deck? Okay. In uh I think I think initiate's still really good. I think it's it's still better than that than that two drop. Even though you can shift it. I think her more direct competition is Trailmaker, who makes influence. So maybe she's better than Trailmaker. But, I mean, I know why you're saying that, Nesh, just because, oh, Initiate gets removed. This doesn't. But actually, she can get removed, she just can't get removed by, like, Torch. It has to be, like, Hailstorm or Harsh Rule. How many Ollies did I open? None. I haven't opened any Ollies yet. <laughs> What's up, Hanzo? Like I could I could see her being played over Trailmaker, but not initiate. Alright, we're gonna get ready to fly. Oh thank you. I want I kinda wanted to open this, even though I'm not brewing with it yet. You, got, you opened four packs, you got Ollie, Plate Master, and two Ice Bolts. <laughs> wow.
Nice. That's a pretty good way to end it. Alright, here we go. Oh no! Oh, that's text. But when you take it off... Oh no! It's in some... We ca I can't... It's some inscription I can't read. That's wild. It seems to only be on the Defiance cards. You open three of the same rare in the first seven packs. How does it even happen? Yeah, I opened Secret Weapon too. This seems like some pretty cool jank. One of the subscribers on, for, on this channel has already put Secret Weapon in their deck. I will not say who. But yeah, I feel like we got a lot of multiples. Does anybody want to take a guess? I know I'm not giving away subs anymore, sadly. I'm not giving away subs today, sadly, but... Does anyone still want to take a guess? It won't be pristine. It won't be anything from Dark Frontier. Because now these are Defiance packs now. We're just cracking open all the stuff I hoarded up until today. So? Um... It's weird, Villain Archer, because I've, I've had these seasons before where I'll start off climbing really fast. And then once I get to Diamond, it just like slows down to like a crawl. Dumping ground. Zoe's Defiance, yeah. Palace is not because Palace is a campaign card. You can't open Palace. So we got Zoe. Rainbow. Dumping Ground. What is Rainbow? I'm gonna say, um... Yeah, I got to... I got to Gold 1 in, like, two days. And then I got into Diamond. And I almost got to Diamond, too. And then I just... I, I memed. I memed back down. So now I'm still in Diamond 3. And I need to win a, a couple games in a row to, to start climbing again. What legendaries do I even want out of this set? Still. I'm looking at this thing, chat. Alright, I'm gonna say Clutch of Talons. Wow, that's sick. I'll take that. I play that card a lot. That's insane. I want to craft premiums of that now. I just want to get a set of these now. Yeah, Pog. Premium Cicalis, Pog. I'm just savoring the moment. I know we're supposed to go through these fast, but like, damn. That's so good. Streamer luck. Another one. As somebody famous would say, another one. <laughs> I wish I got this like in the the Dark Frontier packs. That would have been nice. You know, we pulled pretty good from Dark Frontier. I'm not sad. Island? Is Island in oh Island is in the set. She's an eight drop. <laughs> Scarn's just gonna pick Primal. I'm still going clutch. I will keep picking clutch of talons until I actually pull one, and then I'll pick something else. You got three smugs and four Legos? Oof. 
Yeah, we opened at least six from um, Legos from Dark Frontier. That's because we bought, uh, I bought two boxes before the stream started. And I'm pretty sure we got more legendaries than that. It felt like we got more than six. Premium Talon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you just get the packs, it's, it's kind of... It... On average, it's one every ten packs. But it's not always the case. Tavia. Okay. Oh no! I didn't I didn't get through it! I'm sorry guys! Well somebody gets points for Kaz gets points for, for uh guessing dumping ground earlier. We'll give that to Kaz. Three legs and four packs? Yeah, that's insane. That's actually insane. happened with Dark Frontier? <laughs> I swear I'm, I'm not hacking anything. I'm just not. I'm not. It's... <laughs> oh my god. Four legendaries in five packs. How? This has never ever happened. <laughs> Stream is rigged. People are gonna say it's rigged now. I'm still going Clutch of Talons. Uh. Alright, let's see what it is. I'll take Reyna. Reyna works. <laughs> Showing up in my place of residence. You're going to open these and you're going to get legendaries, whether you like it or not. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. We we take these. We, we take those. We take those. Premium Hidden Road Smuggler. We take those. That's sick. Well, I thought it was going to stop, but clearly it hasn't. <laughs> clearly it hasn't stopped. Clearly it's just meant to keep going. All right, we got Joe. I'm still going clutch. Loggers. Pr premium Joe. Skarn's like, you know what? Mo Molly's so lucky that we'll just like... I'm just going to go for the premium Joe. Like, it's not even going to be a regular one. <laughs> Zenon Temple. <laughs> Knowing my luck. <laughs> Alright, let's crack it open. Okay. Premium Peaks. <laughs> the Sahin meme. That's another legendary that's like, oh, I crafted those already. Nah, nah, I wish I didn't. But, you know, I, I had to see. I had to see if... I think Sahin's actually decent. It's a pretty good card. You like you some Sahin play? You like know, after people uh, after Reanimator was a thing, people uh, they tried to build Sahin decks with chains in it, without a way to actually like play chains naturally. They just wanted to cheat it out. Oh, we got a a premium Steely Resolve. That's cool.
That's a lot of packs. See, now it's stopped. Now it's like, all right, you, you've opened too many. You opened five legendaries in 10 packs. And four of those five were in the first five packs. Now, now, now we gotta we gotta slow you down. I say that now and then I open one. <laughs> Keep the people from thinking it's rigged. Yeah, true, true. We still got Joe. I'm still going clutch. Clutch of talons. Praxis Arcanum. Okay. Anyone else? Trading post. Interesting. Governor Sahin. Because we opened one already. What if it's premium Governor Sahin? Snow Sculptor. Okay. A sight. <laughs> Quinn. Alright. The Oni Workshop site. <laughs> The dude that makes random relics. I swear it's not rigged. It's not rigged. I swear it's not rigged. It's not. Okay? It, it's it's not rigged. Our, our our answers I assume are gonna be the same. We're we are we're sticking with our answers until until I open said card this actually is kind of insane like these defiance packs are, are stupid hey marxist got it right nice <laughs> It might be better that the Dark Frontier packs weren't like this. Because we had zero Dark Frontier cards. Okay. I, I just... just Alright, fine. Fine! I just... I, I accept this. I accept this. How many non-subs got one right? Um... I think two so far. Marxist and it might Marxist might be the only one. Maybe one other person. Am I done yet? <laughs> Brell. Actually, Zo. <laughs> oh, Mark's a kissed. Yeah. Like, masochist. I don't know why I thought it was schist. Because I read the CH, but it's like, it's, it's masochist. I confused myself with the marks. I think that's where I got confused. And I was like, oh, it's a new word. But yeah, it, it would be marxist. Like, masochist. <laughs> Brel. <laughs> Sahin. Good good job. See see if if you stuck with Sahin Vale and Archer, you would have nailed it. You're guessing a Defiance legendary card. That is a solid choice.
I wanted to skip that one. <laughs> Rest in peace, Molly Gold. What's up, Joxer? Yeah, I hadn't planned on drafting. Although, we can, um... I... I got gems from the Direwolf Digital Store. So I bought a bundle. Because I knew I was at least going to have enough to do that for today. And I got a couple free draft tickets from it. So... We can draft... I wasn't going to draft today, but we can draft at some point. Um... Post for sure now. Sahin is all she. Alright, I'm going. I'm, I'm still going uh, Clutch of Talents. Still holding out hope. I didn't even like. I didn't even get Defiance boxes. These are all just packs I've been holding. And it's been like this. It's been crazy. Now it's Brel. Alright, who got Anaya earlier? Hanza guessed Anaya. Hansa guessed Anaya. Three hundred packs, damn the Twitch money. Not, not really, Paco. Most of the packs I, I'd been holding, I had like two hundred something packs uh, last night. And then I, I bought I bought the Dark Frontier packs this morning, which between like actual money and like gold I saved up in the game, so it came out to like a hundred something packs of Dark Frontier. But you know, I guess some of it's Twitch money. All right, let's go. It's all the cash I saved on Spotify. Pro on not getting Spotify Premium. Post, 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 Joe. I just assume all the answers are the same. Like we're sticking with Brel, Joe, Post. Except the ones that got it right, which is Hanza and Mar uh, Marxicus so far. And I think one other person got it, got it right too, so far. Anaya, even though we just opened one, a premium legendary. We have opened one of those too. Sahin. Run it back. The fear made flesh. I'm just flying through these till we find the next one. Okay, now we we've hit a lull. It, it's it's like break time right now. We've opened so many legendaries from this set. Now now it's break time. There we go. I I almost opened it automatically. I was going. I almost went too fast. <coughs> Premium? Okay. Premium's probably like Joe. Yeah, I, I I assume it's the same the same. UD still going with Zalchi. Scarn still going with Joe. Host, Anaya, Sahin. What other guesses have come up to? Someone guessed something earlier. Oh, Krishnan just guessed Zenon Temple a while back. 
Okay, savior. Yeah, they are. That's probably why you can just say premium. And the chance of opening one is still lower than, like, naming a legendary. Alright. Does anyone have any new guesses? If not, we'll just, uh, you know, not trading the post. Sticking with the plan. Sticking with the plan. Scarn's still sticking with Joe. Someone guessed, bro. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Scalden did. Dune worm. I don't know. I've lost track. Um, we are either at 10 or close to it just from Defiance alone. We've opened at least eight, I would say. From Defiance. Uh, obviously, we had at least six from uh, Dark Frontier. Oh, we've opened half the packs now? Yeah, we've opened a ton of Defiance Legendaries. Ravid Insect Master. So we are switching it up. So, okay. I'm still going with Clutch of Talents. <laughs> Run, cowards! <coughs> what the hell? Chris! What are you doing? What is this? Run, cowards! What is this? Thank you for gifting five subs to the channel. I appreciate it, Chris Ninja. And I still want to thank you for, for the Doc Rivers memes, too. You had to do it to him. <laughs> Valve Gear, Mar uh, God, Marxicist, Seth Osorn, the EUD, Shadowstar LP. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chris. Run, cowards! That's crazy. Go swarm. Well, welcome, welcome, all of you to the mock toads. Hype in the chat. Hype in the chat. That's incredible. Man. Feel free to join the Discord, guys, if, if you want a place to hang out at and talk some Eternal or other things. We don't just talk Eternal, we talk everything. We have, you get some extra benefits too for being subbed to the channel as well. Get to use all the emotes in Discord too. On any Discord channel, you get to use the, the uh, Twitch emotes. Among other things. There's a sub chat too. Yeah, you get to submit a deck this Saturday now for sub Saturday. You get priority on Deck Doctor Day now. Even though everybody can submit on Deck Doctor, but 
if you're sub you get priority on that so now you can submit decks every week you don't have to wait till viewer saturday each month to do it it's crazy wow man i'm like i'm i'm on cloud nine right now Yeah, enjoy the Discord benefits. Enjoy the the weekly events now that you guys can be a part of. Get to use the Twitch emotes on Discord too. Any Discord channel you want. Well, as long as you link your Twitch account to Discord, you can. <laughs> That's huge. That's so big. I'm gonna run out of words. <laughs> Lot, lots of honking. Lots and lots of honking. Has anybody guessed this changed? I love the fact that I have a Flame Stoker emote now because <laughs> because Manu S won the ECQ playing Flame Stoker. It actually won him a game. <laughs> so now my 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 Flame Stoker emote is justified. <laughs> The Komodo hype. I used to spam that emote a lot, Valen Archer. When, um... They're not really around much anymore. Like, you see them sometimes, but... There was this, this Eternal player named Komodo. He play, they play in the ETS all the time. So I'd see them in Twitch chat, and I, I would just spam that emote every time I saw Komodo. I'm like, what e he, he was like, what emote is that? Like, it, it's a Komodo. Snow Sculptor. All right, I'm still going clutch. Still, I'm still clutching to the talons. Okay, Talir's unwinding. Wow. Like, stuff like that, guys, is just... You have no idea. It just, make, it just makes a streamer's day. When, when stuff like that happens. It really does. Like, it'll, it'll motivate streamers to just keep going and... Like, I don't mean to sound, like, depressed or anything. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's tough. Wow. A premium Avergraft. That's really pretty. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any of these. Well, I have one now. Okay. 
Okay. Another one. Does anyone want to change their guess? Are we sticking to, uh... Are we sticking to, to our guns? I'm sticking to my guns. Skarn is sticking <coughs> with the Zo guns. Grinva this time. Okay. See, now EUD can just have fun. We got gifted a sub. They say it's always best to stick to your guns, so I'm sticking with Clutch. I will continue to clutch to the talons. Someone guessed Temple earlier. I want to see you guess Temple earlier. Somebody did. <laughs> Chris Ninja did. <laughs> Look at all those sub badges, eh? Hey. Look at that, uh, look at that gift sub badge. You got next to your name now, Chris Ninja. Flame Brewer. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty swanky. Now, now every time you come here, you just you just get to show that off. Doesn't look like a lot now, but when when we get done opening all these, I think I had like twenty thousand shift stone before opening any packs that I I hadn't like just cards I hadn't destroyed yet. After this is gonna be pretty ridiculous. We'll definitely be in the, the six figures for sure. No doubt. Antique polisher. I realize I've been opening packs for two hours now. <laughs> Almost two hours. I've just been savoring the moment. I just wanted to in enjoy the cards that I opened in Dark Frontier. And even though I wasn't giving out gifting subs out today, I still want to give people a chance to guess the legendaries. And then Chris Ninja got got my back. <laughs> Scar. <laughs> oh my God, Kappa Pride. Another around thirty thousand from pack opening alone without dusting. We're probably going to be close to like 150k shift stone, is what I'm guessing. They changed to Serene Meditant. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I'm still uh, holding on to Clutch. Someone guessed Zalchi earlier. I can't remember who, but someone guessed Zal Chi earlier.
EUD did. <laughs> I think someone else did earlier too, though. I don't think EUD was the only one. Hello, blue sky. How are you doing? I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm uh, I'm very happy. Dark. We already opened our Dark Frontier packs. We just had the rest of the packs from the other sets. But these Defiance packs have been crazy. We've opened a ridiculous amount of Legendaries. But Dark Frontier was good. We opened a decent amount. We opened a pretty good amount for what I, I bought. And we got a lot of multiples too, which... I think this early on is good, especially since you're starting from zero. You don't have any copies of any cards, so in in that way, it's kind of good that you get multiples and not just like one of a lot of different cards and then you still have to craft stuff to, to build your decks. You got bail. You got a bail with grass on the mountain the Legos and things for this. All right, uh, Marxicist. Thank you for, uh, yeah, Scalding, Scalding got Brel right. Scalding got Brel right, and, um, I think the rest of the people that got it right, you gifted, uh, Chris Ninja. You got one right. <laughs> Marxicus got one. EUD got one. And, yeah, um, Scalding got one right, too. He got Brel right. No, they got Brel right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't have to do it, Chris. <laughs> oh. You miffed that you've been either too busy, busy or too tired to watch any deck opening until now, so you're excited? Nice. Well, our, our pack opening lasted long enough. I've been opening packs since like for like two hours now because i've just been savoring the moment thank you krish thank you for gifting scalden with a sub for getting it right i appreciate it man god see it worked out it still worked out like krish was just krish ninja was just super super generous super generous That's insane. Scalden, if you're here, if you're still lurking, welcome to the Moth Toads. You were just gifted a, a sub by the very generous Chris Ninja One. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy the, the other benefits you get too. We'll throw some hype in the chat for, uh, for Chris Ninja and all the gift subs again. You know, I wish I could, uh, make, there was a way to make Nightbot a, uh, a sub to the channel. I've heard, I've heard it both ways. I've heard from some people that you can do it and from others that you cannot do it unless you're a Twitch partner. So. Yeah, that, that's, that's just, wow. God. <laughs> That's just crazy. And Chris did more than enough. It, it was more than enough. Because only a couple of people had guessed right so far. How many brows are we gonna open? <laughs> This is the third Brel, by the way. This is the third one. And no Joe. Is this show? Is this show? I and I actually have a premium Brel too. Brel super sweet premium. Is this Joe? Chemo. 
nearly the whole set. Ah. Uh... Two people guessed that one earlier. One was Joxer. The other was Hanza. Okay. Bazaar Trickster. Hacking against Joe. <laughs> We still. Um. A couple more hours, uh, Krish Ninja. Definitely. Um, I want to go till nighttime. I want to try and hit um. At least three more hours. For sure, and I'll I'll try to go four more actually if I can. I just need to. I have to figure out uh. I might have to figure out dinner in between. I was going to wait till I, after I got off stream, but my body's like, <laughs> I'm going to need like food, something soon. <laughs> Cause I ate and then it was still a little while before I started streaming again. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll, I will definitely be on at six. I'll definitely be on around. Well, if it's it's 4:20 now my time. So if it's 6 my time, I'm definitely still going to be on. Quick silver mirror. But I appreciate it again, Chris. Th thank you, thank you so much. That that is that is so big. Like you have no idea. All right, I'll see you later. We'll see you later. <clears throat> we sticking to our guns, Skarn? <laughs> Show where you're leaving. <laughs> oh my God. Clutch of talents for me. Snow Sculptor. I think, uh... EUD guessed that one. Pretty sure. I might be wrong, but... First Ninja guessed it. <laughs> Chris Ninja's nailing it. I think Chris Ninja hit like like guessed right on had three legendaries and guessed correctly. That's insane. Is it Joe this time? I'll say this, Old Sworn. I won't say exactly what state. I won't say which one, but I'm in the Carolinas. So that, that narrows it down. So I, I'm, I'm definitely East Coast. Well, Southeast.
Is it Zhou? Will Skarn continue to stick to the guns of Zhou? Or will it be the Clutch of Talons? Or will it be another Brel? Because we've opened like 30 of those. No, it's a Zalchi. Which someone got right and then they got gifted a sub. <laughs> Molly's a secret agent, no details. <laughs> oh my god. You know what that kind of reminds me of, though? I heard this weird thing that I had never heard before regarding, like... This is about giving streamers giving away how old they are. I heard from a streamer it's it's actually not something you should do as a streamer. Like it's it's kind of taboo. I had never heard that before. I was like, "Really?" And they're like, "Yeah, Twitch like Twitch recommends that you don't give away your age." And uh, apparently is right cuz I I think I read where where he read that, and yeah. <laughs> I'm 13, Kappa. You've been losing all game versus Combray Aggro with your updated Dreadroaches list. Pop deck Smug decides to pick BSH, single crown gives BSH death. <laughs> oh my god. Get crowned. I don't know why, Blue Sky. It's it's so weird. But like most people do it though. Like it's it's not a big deal. Like to most people. Although I guess to be fair. I think most of the people that have said their age have all been in their 20s. They're all pretty young. Like, I'm in my 30s. You know, you know people tell me I, I, I look 20-something, you know. I look like I'm in my 20s. I'm not. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not 10 years off. I, I will look forward to being like 60 and looking like I'm like 48. I appreciate it, Neo. Thank you for the compliment. Legendary count? Two, 250? It's felt like 250. It's not 250. Um, I don't, I don't have an exact count, unfortunately. We've probably opened um, about 15 legendaries in Defiance alone. Possibly more than that. We opened a lot early on. We opened like, we got to a point where we, we opened four legendaries and five packs. And then it's been pretty steady ever since. I've definitely been on the, the, the good end of, of luck. The, the variance has been in my favor, for sure, with Defiance. The Dark Frontier packs was about standard. I think we opened we opened at least six legendaries. We, we probably opened close to 10 with Dark Frontier. So, if we're not at 30, we're, we're creeping towards it. Yeah, Defiance was unreal. Defiance was insane.
waiting list. <laughs> there is Valen Archer. There's a lot of streamers on right now. I mean, it was like this when Defiance came out, though. There were a ton of streamers when Defiance came out. It was insane. I had a feeling this was gonna happen, that the last pack would be a legendary. Honestly, now I hope it's Joe. <laughs> for for CD Skarn's sake. Now I hope it's Joe. For Skarn's sake. I don't even want it to be Clutch of Talons anymore. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. No dupes plucks. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> that that's the fourth one, right? Or is that the fifth one? I think that's five. It's definitely four, but it might be five. We can't, we can't right click it. <laughs> We'd have to go to, uh, we'll, we'll do it afterwards. Cause I do want to go in my collection and, um, we're going to go in the collection after this for sure. Just pick Brel, forehead. Just pick Brel. So I think I had three before opening all the Brels that I did just now. I think I had three already. I think I had two non-premiums and a premium. Okay, does anybody want to guess on what Fall of Argentport Legendary this could be. I should do this, actually. Hang on. Let's do... Zoe. Zoe's not in this set, though. <coughs> Maybe he'll just show up here. Does this even work? Dramatist mask? It does work. Cool. Alright, those are all the Fall of Argentport legendaries. We got End of Days, Dramatist mask. I don't think there's much I need from this set. I always pick a card I, I still need. Someone said Nash earlier, and Nash is, isn't even in Defiance. How dare they? Nash is in this set. I'm picking Nash. Because I always pick Nash. First Flame, a... Or a Krill. I got a shiny Krill. I have a premium Krill. Alright. Let's crack this open, baby. Sigvard. That's the one legendary I can't get away from with this set. I have a premium Sigvard too. I, I've, I've opened a lot of Sigvards. I'm pretty sure I already had a play set. Nice! Premium Alessi. We'll take those. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, Neil, the history of this game, as far as like what legendaries get get made and designed, most of them are either a lot of them are really bad. And a lot of them are like they they make them interesting. Like they try to get players to want to build decks around legendaries. But because of that, mo most of them don't turn out to be competitive. The legendaries are either really good or, for the most part, interesting. I'll say. <laughs> They end up in like, you know, like some janky decks. Yeah, <laughs> it makes you appreciate the good ones when you do open them. I mean, hey, you know, it's it's shift stone. All right, now we're on empty throne. Now we're on empty throne. There's quite a few of these. Yeah, they might. Ikaria, Treasury Gate. Not much I need from this set left either. There's still legendaries I haven't opened. I'm going Felon Cauldron because I've never opened a Felon Cauldron ever. And I've been playing this game since 2016. <laughs> Plated Demolisher. <laughs> okay. Dice Show's good. It's a good card. Augmented form. Mulligan's waifu. <laughs> Dice show probably is waifu material. What you don't you don't like the feeling of, of cold hard steel, Caspley? Rubbing down your skin. You don't like that feeling, Cas? There's only two ways to respond to what I said. You can either respond with Kappa Pride or respond with Monka S. Those are probably the two, your two best options to reacting to what I just said. Or Craigasm, Craigasm works. Yeah, Roland's Fist. Monka T. Monka T works. Monka T is fine. I was worried about that emo. I, I enabled it and like we didn't really use it, but I feel like lately uh we're using it more here, a little bit more, and I'm actually using it more when I go to other channels too. Other Twitch channels. Molly W. Ikaria. I'll just assume everybody still wants to stick with a uh, stick to their guns. I'm definitely sticking with Cauldron. Cauldron continues to to evade me. <laughs> Congrats, EUD. You've kind of been on a roll too. You've guessed at least two. I think more than that. Wow. Yeah, we got Pepega now. I kind of like shadow added that. <laughs> Didn't tell anybody. Right, let me let me just slide Pepega in here. Cause I think Pepega's actually been a nail for a little while. Voprex. We're adding Voprex to the mix. SST. All right.
I still want cauldron. Please give me cauldron. Please. Green purple card. Ikaria, Ikaria, not quite. We got Bandit Queen. Oh, was that? No, that's not, that wasn't all it. I hit home on accident. It's playable. A little boring, but it's playable. Definitely a playable legendary. Hey, I was excited the first time I opened a Bandit Queen when I started playing. Because I wanted to build Stone Star. I wanted to play Stone Scar Aggro. Like, yes, I don't have to. I don't have to craft these. Back when I, you know, you struggle to get your first 10,000 shift stone. Then you finally get it. You can make your first play set of legendaries. You feel like you're on top of the world. All right. Yeah, I ended up crafting up in one, and then I had to craft the other three, I think. I remember it used to be a rare, and then they made it a legendary when they uh, went into open beta. But in closed beta, it was a rare. Road of the Friend end. <laughs> well, that's it for the pack opening. The stream's not going to end, though. We got to get to uh, updating a couple decks here, and then there's a new deck I want to build, <clears throat> at least for today. Then we'll mess with some other stuff uh, on future streams once I look at the set more. <clears throat>